Well, good morning, it's Bobby Lee and Willis from Hurricane Creek Farms coming to you on a beautiful fall morning. Cool, about 50 degrees here first thing. Warming up into the mid 70s, but got, um, got a variety of things we're gonna get done today, um, or at least try, um, good Lord willing. But appreciate y'all watching and uh, yeah, I guess let's get to it. And yes, Willis likes to ride the hoverboard in um, some sort of modified fashion. I guess that lower center of gravity makes him a little more stable, but get the bulls fed. All right, so they are all happy and fed. Gonna, I guess, you think we ought to put the horses up? All right, let's put them up. You know how to feed them. Whoa, see there, stands up on it and he nearly crashes. Hey, are y'all hungry? Most of the wean calves and then these few cows we got with them have figured out the process that hey they hear us up here they can probably get a little feed so we'll give them a little feed get a head count on them and that'll be all the all the big animals here at home they've been checked out this morning everybody can't decide where they want to eat we got some over there in the barn some eating right here oh yeah there comes mama cow but we'll try to get a head count on them. Need to feed the cats as well. Strong, are you cold? Yes. What do you say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did anybody else, y'all have trouble with that? And kids? And I mean, I don't mean like the kids just don't say that anymore these days. It's like, no, we, we've always made my kids say it, but they uh, just have the trouble remembering the sir and the ma'am. Uh, just trying to raise this next generation and be respectful, but. We were actually about 10 short up there, so now we're nine short. And looky there, there are the other nine. So, all the bovines here at home have been accounted for. We still gotta ride up the road and check out one more group though, don't we, Willis? Yes, yes. <laughs> mineral feeder, yeah, she is empty. So, let's get a little mineral feeder in there. You want me to sure. teach you how to open the bag? All right. You already did it. Do Let you do that one. Oh, you already got it. Good job. You didn't do it for the camera though. Willis has learned how to open the, the pull tab on the sack. So while the tractor's parked right here by the truck, go ahead and top it off with fuel. Um, gotten in there yet? I think it was getting pretty low anyway. Um, then we're gonna. Well, we'll get the forks off the front. We don't need them, but we're gonna get hooked up to the disc mower. Um, we just put those belts on there about a week and a half ago. So, fingers crossed that uh, everything's in good working condition with it. We'll probably, I'll just get out here and just cut it on, test it out real quick um, before we drive, because we're actually, I know, it's six, seven miles over to uh, where we're hoping to cut some hay a little later on this morning or early this afternoon. The question this time of year, every morning is, you know, at what time of day do you finally shed the long sleeves and go to the short sleeves? I tell you, after wrestling that mower onto the tractor, it's right at nine o'clock. I don't know that I'll make it to 10 with this shirt on, but uh, I actually may because now that we got that little chore taken care of, we ought not get too hot and sweaty again for a little while, but we're hooked up. About ready for the moment of truth. I say we're hooked up as I walk back here. Yeah, I still got a PTO shaft hooked up. We got her greased. We're gonna find out if this thing's gonna hold. Um, again, I hadn't put the cover back on there yet. I still got to do a little bit of um, modifying on that cover. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, bent up just a little bit to make it work, but didn't want to put it back on there until I knew everything was gonna run right anyway. So. Fingers crossed. 
see if it's going to hold together. All right, our moment of truth. Actually lay it down and see if it'll cut. Let's check the belt tension after we just cut it on like that. Alright. Yeah, I am gonna tighten her up just a little bit there. Assumed it might do that. So we're gonna tighten her up just a couple more rounds, then we're gonna uh, see if it'll mode just a little right there. It should. Alright, so we tighten her down there. There's not supposed to be much gap right here. You see, we closed it down almost all the way, um, which we had tightened it down about that much before we ran it. Of course, once we turned it on there for a second, they, they weren't quite as tight as we thought. But uh, I want to see, I'll take the thickest vegetation, run it through, but just drop it down. Be sure she is going to 100% mow, except before we drive, you know, a little ways over there here in just a little while to actually put her to work so let's see see what she does now well, forgot to hit the record button for the for the second moment of truth but she mowed so came down here to check on these mama cows Can I go put this, this back over? well oh you're gonna flip the trough back over see if you can do that can see if you can do it flip it back over it now it'll be easier if you come this way well, if you flip it this way you're gonna turn it into the jeep come over this way and let's flip it that way let's see if you can do it Get, get right in the middle, see if you can do it. There you go, 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 go. Get it up. There you go, get down there. Lift with your legs, not with your back. Oh, looky there. All right, flip it on over. Push. Oh, you got it. All right. Hey, right, fist bump. Good job. There those mamas come. I do a little farm workout first, but uh, yeah, the uh, it, good example, which if you watched the last video, you know, we got a little rain, but we didn't end up getting much to even speak of on this farm. I mean, we are dry, 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 which, you know, when we're getting ready to cut hay, obviously we're hoping it doesn't rain for a few days, um, and it's not going to. Um, in reality, if it was going to rain, I'd, I'd be fine with that. We would just park the mower back under the shed and, and wait till we did get a dry stretch but uh you know grass is still still putting out these cooler days it, it's not not doing a whole lot but we still got some growth um we do have a fair amount of fescue in some of these pastures that'll start to uh kind of hit its stride again as, as we get into some cooler temperatures but the warm seasons are definitely yeah coming to a to a screeching halt as far as a lot of growth let's count our cows we got two four 17. there's some up here you may can see them you hear one there I hope there's about 13 of them up there because we've only got 17 right here but uh, we'll get a little feed put out and, and go check on those last few steers that we still got Yeah, dump it. Yeah, dump it. I usually put it over there in that one. We're letting Willis bring the feed up here for these steers, which, of course, normally I feed them about 7, 7.30 every morning. It's now 10.30. And so they're they're off somewhere probably late up in the shade. Because as you can see, it was about 10 a.m. was the was how long I lasted in long sleeves today. Thank you there. Good job. Um, we'll see if we can put eyes on them. And uh, then, yeah, especially with the breeze blowing, the dew should be dried off, which not that we always wait for the dew to get off before we cut the hay, but that ought to be in good shape. Yeah, they got just a little mineral left in there, don't they? All right, grab your bag. We're gonna put it back in the Jeep. So as you can see, that's the reason we waited to come down here this time. Got this, this pipe delivered. Pretty good size. I can tell you're not quite four feet tall because that's a 48 inch pipe and uh you can you can you can stand in there and get clearance but um yeah this is gonna go kind of more over on the other end of the farm actually where we are with those cows kind of right where that pasture and the middle one come together um here in just the next couple of weeks 
to fix a, a water drainage problem we've got down there. But uh, yeah, you may want to take a guess. That's two 20 foot by 48 inch pipes. It's amazing. And then what, what makes you even sicker is those guys tell you like, yeah, just two or three years ago what that cost. And it's like twice as much now. But if we want to fix it and fix it right is what we needed. So, all right, we need to get on the road. We got to go cut some hay. <laughs> because it ain't gonna cut itself. <laughs> and we, we got cows that might get hungry this winter. There's steers back here in the woods. Like I always say, if they're nothing else, they are consistent, which I don't blame them. It's just all warmed up. And I can tell just right here, a little breeze blowing in these woods. It feels nice, but you need to sit down, buddy. Yeah. So they're in good shape. But yes, it is a nice little breeze blowing sun out. Um, one thing about this dry weather, it should help out our row crop farmers. Um, so I'm just getting the crop out. I was, Logan and I were recording Talk Dirt to me last night, recorded a day or two early. Um, actually, because my wife's out of town. And so, I'm now record at night after the kids go to bed. Can't leave them home alone. So, anyway, they uh, actually had run into a little higher moisture in the corn and had to. Uh, had to stop basically, and, uh, you know, for a day or two, see if I can you know, let it dry down a little more. But I don't know, may, may call or text him in a minute and see if they're able to get after it today. And so we are mowing about an hour later, which is part of what we thought we were going to get, but we're mowing. And this is the farm. This is when we cut it that, that night. If you go back and watch when we ran to like 10 o'clock at night going this place. This is the farm. Hey, belongs to a buddy of ours, Tim. Not only has he been gracious enough to, to let us have this hay, but he's actually out here helping us mow it today. He's got his own hay equipment. He just hasn't, I don't think, bailed or, or done any hay in a couple of years. So he's out here helping us cut, so we're gonna get this knocked out even faster than we otherwise would have. So the moral of the story is it's good to have good friends. Are you filming any? No, no, not today. I should have. So, y'all can always check out. We got a link to his uh, channel 
in our description. But uh, yeah, we got done cutting hay. Wanted to come see them making some cow feed on the other end of things. You need to. The kids say y'all wanted to see a combine. I'm on the right on it. All right, well, you have to ask Logan. That's a little bigger than any equipment we have, isn't it? Y'all climb on up on there. All right, what y'all think? We don't get to get to have this kind of content. Well, it's real. about to be very dusty. It barfs the dust right here. <laughs> Y'all understand what's happening here? No. So Logan combined it, and it's all in the back of the combine. Whoa! Now we're gonna Damn. try. Yep. What? It's all right there, and then now it's going off over there into the grain buggy, and then he's gonna take it from there and put it up there on one of them big trucks. Yeah, you'll see it running out back here behind us in a minute. But yeah, for those of y'all that listen to the podcast, that's obviously Logan with LH Farms, and so. Yeah, you need to watch his YouTube channel and encourage him to film more. Cause... Yeah, I, got a, I even got a video to put together that I need to get put up. You just need to get it uploaded? Yeah. See, so, we're big time in here, too, Combines. Yeah, I was glad he moved his over here. Oh, look at the car moving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's moving. It's a bug in there. I do. There, there. Pretty high tech. Got monitors everywhere. Bug. That's stealing. What do y'all tell Logan? I'm going to get through. Get through? I'm to get through. <laughs> I was meaning, can you tell him thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Wait, you got a little bit of a mess. Yeah, it's morning glory. See his vines. Worst morning glory I've ever seen. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's also a sign. I can't feel the dude that's coming in. It's right away. Yeah. But yeah, y'all need to check out LH Farms. Oh. He'll get some videos up. Like I say, there's a link in the description. And he's easy to find, LH Farms. But um, I'm gonna get these kids out of here before they stomp down all your all your profits. All right, what y'all think? Is that pretty fun? Yeah, got two combines running. Um, my uncle, who he and my dad farm together. But all their corn moisture's been too high. So he came helping, helping Logan get this out. But, um, yeah, if you're listening to Talk Dirt to me, you've heard us talk about a lot of the challenges right now. One, just get the crop dry enough to where they can take it to the granary and not take a, a discount. And then two, the granaries, a lot, a lot of them aren't taking corn or soybeans right now unless you've got them under contract. Um, I think primarily because there's they're having trouble getting barges in to get the corn uh, Things you know, offloaded and, and moved out. So he's got some contract for this month, which he just got well, count today three more days to do that. So they're, they're trying to get that accomplished, but they're going to get it finished. And then on top of that, the corn crop, as Timber hits the camera, the corn crop just not been real good because of our drought. But anyway, that, that's uh, harvesting corn. On the Hurricane Creek Farms Channel, courtesy of LH Farm. Well, he's back up here, and of course, all the corn, as we showed you a minute ago, goes off the combine onto the grain buggy, and then off the grain buggy or the grain cart, auger cart, whatever you want to call it, onto the trucks, and then gets trucked to the granaries. So, but that was uh, us showing you just a little something different today. Working on all kinds of, of cattle and animal feeds, cutting hay, harvesting corn shelling corn but yeah y'all check out lh farms you know keep coming back we're gonna um be bailing the hay this weekend and uh 
yeah just getting into who knows what else but appreciate y'all watching what do we say at the end of the videos What do we say? Eat beef and God bless. That's right. Eat beef and God bless. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one.